what's going on youtube this is charlie eugene back with another video today i have a entry level gaming laptop this is the lenovo lock 15a ph8 i think it's eight yeah ph8 15.6 gaming laptop this is the ryzen 7 gen, uh processor 3.8 gigs processing power this has the nvidia geforce rtx 3050 i know the 4050 is a lot better but this is what my budget could afford 16 gigs of ddr5 ram and a 512 solid state drive i just got this yesterday haven't had much time to actually play with this thing i got home really late last night i did cut it on and, and let the uh, windows update and all that but i didn't install any gaming any games any um video editing software any music production software so i don't really know how well this thing performs so i can't give you guys that but what i do want to do is open up the back of the system or the bottom and pop this one tb in show you whether solid state drives are placed show you where the ram is placed as well because i am going to max out eventually 16 gigs is enough for now but i want to max out at 32 gigs so this is all this can handle is 32 gigs with ddr5 all right so i did already open this thing up so i didn't want to waste too much time so i'm going to warn you guys now that's the hardest part is getting into this system i'm gonna show you guys how i do it and i'm gonna show you guys right now coming up all right so obviously want to flip this bad boy over uh, feels pretty good man to be an entry-level system this is a little plastic i will i don't really like this plastic but everything else is pretty nice i do like this back area i was hoping this, with this color here let's look like i thought it was rgb man it would have been nice if they had like blue lights coming out the back of that but you know you can't expect um all of that for a budget gaming okay. system but that's what i thought when i saw the back i was like damn this might light up you know might light colors up but anyway let's get into the video so you have about 10 screws here all right you got two up here and then you have so let's count them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right so i'm, I'm going to give you guys some advice here the front four screws are smaller the rest of these screws are all the same size just remember the front four across the front are smaller size have yourself a bowl, a glass, because I'm infamous for losing screws. Shout out to David, rest in peace to my neighbor, David Perez. Rest in peace to him, really great guy. And I always use his sock glass to drink and to work on my uh, PCs. All right, so I'm gonna put the screws in here. Let my man David hold my screws down. Rest in peace to him. All right, so let's start. You're gonna, uh, let's start with what you're gonna need. All you're gonna need is a precision screwdriver. Let me bring this up. Let me see if I can bring it up close so I can focus in on it. Let's see. No? You don't wanna focus in on my screwdriver? Anyway, let me, I might need to bring it closer. Let's see. No? No, it's not focusing in. Anyway, it's a small screwdriver that you're gonna need, screwdriver head. Also, if you've got like a splutter tool, this really small flathead splutter tool, I'm using this. You can use a really small flathead as well. You can use that. And this is the TB I'm throwing in. This is an inland one terabyte solid state drive. I definitely might be swapping this out later on with the Samsung Evo SSD, but this will do for now, okay? So that's all you're gonna need. And I'll always keep myself some microfiber cloth to wipe down as I'm working out. So that's all you're really gonna need, okay? So we're gonna start taking these screws out. We'll start taking out the top part. All right, take your screws out. And remember, all the screws up here are all the same size, just the front four are the smaller screws, okay? But And this is the hardest part of the job is actually getting into this motherboard, it's kinda, it's kind of a headache, man. So I advise you guys just max out, man. Get everything that you want so you don't have to keep opening this thing up. See me, I'm going to have to go back in because I don't have the RAM 
I should have got the RAM yesterday when I bought the laptop, but I was just in a rush. My son was with me. He was, he wanted to go to Chick-fil-A. So I couldn't, I got out of there pretty quick, but it's okay. 16 will do for a few months, but I'm definitely going to max out because I'm, I'm Mr. Max out when it comes to any machine that I get. I always want to max out the RAM. Okay. So there you go. So we got all of these long, all of these are long screws and these are the short ones here. So all you have to remember, and like I'm always gonna tell you guys, make sure to use the right size screwdrivers. Do not use a butter knife or something like that because you're gonna strip the screws and then you're gonna cause a big problem trying to get into your motherboard or to your case, all right? So one more screw. All right, so, so now you got all your screws out. You're gonna have to get this back piece off. Now, the best way to get this back piece off, let me bring this a little bit in the frame here, is to use the flathead. That's what the flathead's for. The flathead is for wedging this off. The way I did it, to get it off, you can do it however you want. I started from the left over to the right. You can go from right to left, it doesn't matter. Set it back down. Just start wedging it. You're gonna hear it. You're gonna hear pops and snaps, don't worry. That's just it disengaging from the from the body. But just start, you know, wedging across, just like that. See, I kind of scratched it up. See, that's why I didn't want to use, I, you guys can't see it, but I scratched it using this. So just be careful, it's not that big of a deal. See that? You hear that pop? That's what you want to hear. Don't be scared. Just be gentle going across. And then once you get all the way across, you can kind of use your finger to kind of push up on it. Okay? See, those, you know, don't, don't be alarmed when you hear those pops. I was a little scared when I first heard them when I did a test run. I was like, damn, did I break something? But just be careful. And then, bam. See that? You hear that? All right, so don't be alone when you hear those snaps. Just be careful. I did kind of scratch up my case with this. So if you get a plastic tool, I highly recommend using something plastic this small enough to get in there. But it's all right. It's not that big of a deal. So now, once you have that off, you have three more long screws, which are the same size as the screws that was here. You want to get your screwdriver, and there's one screw in the top corner here. Let me bring this up a little closer so you guys can see. There's one in the corner here, there's one in the middle right here, and then there's one on this side. Once you get that off, then you can take your whole back cover off here, okay? So this is the hardest part is kind of getting into this, to this. That's why I highly recommend once you go in, just put everything that you need in there. That way you don't have to do this again because it's kind of tedious. It's not that hard, it's just kind of tedious. All right, so three screws here. It's just a little tedious, and that's the only thing about it that I don't like. All right, so that screw doesn't want to come out, but that's all right. I'm going to get this one. This one don't want to come out either. Let me get my fingers in there. All right, and let's see if we can get this bad boy out. So it's three screws. Once you get this cover off, and this one's being stubborn. So what I'm gonna have to do is kind of catch it. Can I catch it? Yeah, I caught it. All right. So now, now you can finally get this back cover off. So I would, the best tool for this is using your, your nail. If you got a nail, use that. You can, you can start with your flathead, but when it comes to these back parts, I like to kind of use my nail but be careful. Actually, actually, you know, you can use this corner here, but just be careful. Kind of lift up on this corner right here. Lift it up and then use your flat head or your nail to get into the body of it. Just be careful. Like I said, this, this is why. See, you hear that? So once you get it, once you get it up, just carefully and start using your, uh, your hand to pull up on it. Just be careful. All right, once you hit those crackles, there we go. All 
right, and just be careful here. We're almost there, guys. All right, there we go. So that's it. That's the hardest part of getting into it. It's just all these different screws. But if you do it in the order I showed you, you should have no problems, all right? So let's set this to the side. So the cool thing about this system, you can upgrade your RAM. And you can swap out your SSDs. Uh, I think this size here, the, the SSD size for this is like 5580. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, this is what comes with it, but you can put a 2280 here. It has the size, has the fitting for a 2280, which is this size here. This is the most common size you're going to see out there. So you can take this out and put a 2280 in. It fits in there, okay? But you also have another slot on, on the left side where this empty that you can put uh, another SSD in, which I'm going to do. So I'm going to leave this in, but eventually... I'm going to put a TB in here, so I'm going to have a 2 terabyte laptop eventually. Right now, I don't really need that, but I want to show you where the that you can put two SSDs in here. And also, under this plate here, this is where your RAM goes, all right? So, I'm not doing the RAM upgrade, but I do want to show you guys how to do it. All I'm showing you guys is that I'm popping in this one terabyte in. But I do want to show you guys how easy it is to put in, to max out your RAM, okay? There is a little sticker here that's that's taped to the the shield and the um, motherboard here. Just be careful. This is what I this is what I did to, to do, did it earlier. I started this way in the front, and then I lift up. I didn't want to take that tape off. I don't think the tape is going to kill you if you take it off. But I just want to leave everything the way it is. So there there's your RAM. Okay. So I got 16 gigs, 8 gigs, 8 gigs here, 16. But I'm definitely going to max this out eventually. So I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to get to the RAM. All right. So I'm going to put this cap back over here because I don't have any RAM to put in. And 16 should do for me right now. So that's where your RAM is placed. And that's easy to get to. And I'm just popping in this solid state drive in here for you guys. They already have a screw there so you don't have to worry about a screw. Take this screw out. Set that to the side here, and then we're gonna pop this TB in here. Bam! Put the screw back in place. Very easy. Very easy peasy. If I can get this screw screw to line up here. So yeah, that's very easy, guys. Very easy job. This is what it looks like. Wanted to show you what it looks like if you do have this model or you're interested in getting this model. The good thing is upgradable. See, this is what I'm. This is what I love about Windows machines. Still, at least you can get machines that you can still swap out stuff. Man, I love Apple, but good God, you see my MacBook up here. I love Mac, but you can't do anything with Apple anymore. So anyway, guys, if any any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. I'm gonna put this uh, cover back on. You seen what I did to get the cover on? This is all you have to do to put it back on. Do it in the same order. Put your black, your I say back. Put your back cover on first. Put your screws in place. Make sure you put all those screws that were up top. Let me, matter of fact, let me do it. I don't, I don't want this video to go too long, but let's see if I can get this done really quick. So obviously, you want to put your cover back on. I always like to start from the front, and then place this back in. Make sure. You hit us the, the, the cracks and pops to make sure it's in. All right. Okay. Make sure it's in. And then go around and look to make sure you see, make sure you don't see any space. Bam, make sure to, to see that corner there. You want to make sure all that stuff is in there nice and flush with the body. Okay. So yeah, it looks nice and flush. All right. So now that that's flush, let me make sure it's to hit those pops. No more pops. All right. Now, this is make sure you put these th these three screws back in. Don't forget to put those back in. Let's put these back in. Let's put these. All these should be the same size. Like I said, the only different screw sizes are the front four. Okay. All right. Let's put these back in place. And you guys get you get the you get the point right. You get the picture. You get the point. This is that's the hardest part is just getting into this case. It just has extra 
extra screws and stuff that you have to access to get to the, to the motherboard. But other than that, man, that's pretty much it. All right, guys, I don't want to hold you guys. I'm at 15 minutes. I'm going to be ending the video now. Just make sure to put these screws back in. And uh, that's it. So if you got any comments, man, feel free to ask me below. Like I said, I can't give you guys a really detailed um, video yet of how it performs. I didn't install anything in it yesterday. I just kind of cut it on and fooled with it a little bit. But as far as the RAM and how to get the SSDs in, feel free to ask me. Anyway, man, hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you to all my subscribers, man. I'm almost at 600, so I'm still growing. And I really appreciate you guys for watching my videos. And this is Charlie Eugene signing out. But I almost forgot. If I can do it, you can do it too. Peace.